And welcome back to the series where we explore the new values of the captive consumer. The captive economy is a fascinating place. Understanding the psychology of imprisonment and captivity allows us to understand how the consumers may be feeling right now and how we as brands and businesses can better connect with them. So these are the five values of the new captive consumer. Okay, number four, your fourth value of the captive economy. Uh, this is about community. Uh, and this is probably one of the strongest values that you can really resonate today to link in with the consumer. Uh, if you remember Maslow's hierarchy of needs, do you remember that, the, the little the little pyramid that you might have studied in MBA or psychology, if you ever uh, did a course on, on psychology? So Maslow, was a, his theory was of motivation. And the basic of, basis of the theory was that as humans, we satisfy our base needs first. And once those needs are satisfied, we then move up the pyramid towards higher needs. So the bottom level was very physiological needs, a need for food, thirst, uh, shelter. The second level was safety, and that was to do with shelter also, but to do with social safety. Uh, and then you've got the, and safety today would mean many things, it would mean financial safety, employment safety, health safety, those kind of things. Uh, then the third level was, was uh, love and connection. It was about belonging. Then you've got esteem needs, and at the very, very top, you've got self-actualization in terms of, uh, you know, creativity and that kind of stuff. So the idea here is if you washed up on a, on a beach shipwrecked, you wouldn't instantly spend three or four days meditating and drawing sand art in, in, the, in the sand, which would be kind of self-actualization. The first thing you would do would be try and find water, try and find food, try and find shelter. Once you'd satisfy those needs, then you might go up to safety. You then get to love and belonging and, and so you, you work your way up. So I think where we are right now, if you strip it all right back immediately in the initial fear, that's why you do see the panic buying again, that that's the very bottom lead need there. You know, I want to keep my family safe. I want to get food. And so that's why we saw a lot of that panic buying going on. At this stage, I think people are mostly happy that yes, food will be available and I am safe and secure in my own home. There are no kind of social unrest um, issues, certainly not globally, that the army and police are trying to fight. So at the moment, we're all doing what we were asked. We're all under house arrest, that's fine. And so if you work your way up the needs, what you get to is that, that third need very quickly, everything else is satisfied, is love and belonging and connection. And so because our freedoms have been taken away and we can't move socially, we can't see our friends and family, uh, that is a need that is going to be opening up hugely in our, in our bodies and hearts and souls. So we need to connect. We need to feel that we belong somewhere. Uh, and so at the moment, what we're seeing is um, a need to belong. Of course, you might be in a home with your family, and that's your individual unit of belonging. But in modern society, we've already have many different types of belonging. We belong in our office and our with our colleagues. We belong in our, in our gyms. We belong socially on, on digital. And so we have many, many ways of satisfying our social belonging. But many of us now have, have had to had those challenged in the last few few weeks. So the question is, how do you capitalize on this as a brand? Uh, it's, this is about community. And so it's everything from, you know, you'll see, you've seen it on your social media feeds, the, the balconies in Italy and everyone's playing on the balconies. And so we're seeing a huge coming together of communities all over the world, uh, people pulling together. And for every individual story of selfishness or greed, so you see the people being shamed on Facebook for buying, buying loads of toilet roll, people are taking their pictures and sending it on Facebook, God, oh, do you know this person? Shame them. And for every one of those stories, there are 10 or 12 stories of, of the beauty of humanity and people helping each other and kindness. Uh, and so I think, if a brand wants to tap in now, it needs to tap in through community, uh, but through heartfelt, authentic community. Again, not just the tick the box stuff. Um, so lots of things going on around the world. In fact, in Ireland here, the Jemison Distillery, uh, makers of fine whiskey, Irish distillers, changed their production plant from making whiskey to making alcohol gel. Uh, well before it kind of became the norm, maybe for large corporates to fund and to help the government. They did it well in advance of that. And that instantly, of course, is a really great story here in Ireland. People love Jemison here, obviously, for many reasons. <laughs> um, but, you know, the idea that they shut the factory down and making whiskey changed over to alcohol gel, that really shows uh, as a brand, you get it, you're helping, uh, you're helping not in a profit way, but you're helping in a genuine way. So I think any brand or business needs to challenge itself right now to think, what can I do, uh, whether your brand is, whether your business is open or not, what can I do to really leverage community? How can I get involved? How can I help as a brand or business? Because the emotional ties that you will form between your brand and your consumer right now will probably be much stronger than you could ever have imagined or ever have achieved with a kind of a transactional bond in the past. So it's worth sitting down with a white page and a pen and asking yourself, how can I leverage community? How can I leverage this need for people to love, to belong, to feel part of something? If you can bring that to them, 
via your brand or business or see and show that your brand or business gets this and is part of the solution and wants to be part of their community, then I think you, you've been a consumer for a long, long time. Thank you.